Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to be playing uh, a deck that I've been kind of just playing around with for fun. Uh, it is a base Teamer Elementals deck, um, but it is playing Mirror March. So what Mirror March does is whenever you, a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you flip a coin until you lose. For each, uh, Basically, if you win the coin flip, you create a copy of that creature, and you... Uh, you keep doing it until you lose those creatures uh, at the end step get exiled so it is a way where um, basically kind of the combo win is you get a bunch of omnath they all enter the battlefield at the same time they see each other upon entering and then it all stacks the damage so you can one shot your opponent um, the rest of the deck is pretty much an elementals deck that's a little bit more ramp focused um, in surviving the early drops uh, so we have Healer of the Glade uh, as a life gain against more aggressive decks, but it's a one drop elemental that can basically, if you get a lot of these, you can gain a bunch of life with Mirror March. Um, there's Lana War Elves and Leaf King Druid as our ramp package. Uh, Shock is kind of just the only removal in the deck. Uh, Creeping Trailblazer, when these stack, they can all power up multiple elementals if you get it off Mirror March, um, but it allows us to have a little bit more aggressive starts. Uh, Neoform is here to help us find either Risen Reef or Omnath to kind of get going. Uh, Spark Double is another way for us to copy Omnaths or Risen Reefs. Scampering Scorcher makes three bodies, and then for each Mirror March you get the three bodies. Uh, the tokens remain after it, and then Omnath is the combo piece. Um, I have a sideboard here, but it's just the copy. I basically cloned my uh, Team or Elementals like rank deck, and then just made this deck. But I've basically been playing it as best of one. Um, it kind of wins more on the surprise element. So it's a fun deck. It doesn't always play out, but it's just a kind of a break from uh, the regular kind of mundane meta that we're at right now. Uh, we're at Platinum Tier 3. I don't really care about my rank right now that I'm Platinum, so we'll run it through some ranked matches, see how it goes. Um, so I'll get back to the um, rotation proof decks uh, in the next little bit But I just wanted to take a break Have some fun uh, There's only so much innovation you can do in this format right now I find uh, So turn two Risen Reef is good Keep that So I'm probably just gonna play for the next like couple of videos just some random decks like this escape shift it's kind of annoying that you play the two three or four decks i'll probably throw together some sort of grixis deck uh, so that's not bad leafkin can hopefully draw us into something else or just another risen reef yes please i'm missing a red source which is a little annoying Uh, we can Neoform into Omnath, but I think we just want more lands, ideally a red source. These Leafkins should also generate us a lot of value, or even just Scampering Scorcher should give us a huge advantage. So there's the Mirror March. Um... Go Leafkin here. We just need a red source, and this should bring us to the point where we get. Okay, so Healer of the Glade, I don't want. Another elf. Uh, here. Just drop another Leafkin. I just want that red source for the Mirror March. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, we'll just shock here. Play out the elf. So we have all the mana in the world. I would just like to actually be able to play something with it. Um, worst case, we spark double a Risen Reef. Opponent's kind of doing their thing here. Blast zone, they have two more turns. Okay, so we have the temple here. Let's 
So we have the neoform that can get us going with Omnath for next turn. So I think we actually keep that. I'm just gonna copy this. So our Risen Reef still died. This always enters the battlefield tapped. Okay, we got another spark double. Uh, so we'll dismiss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just go to attacks here. So if they're spending their whole turn just killing our Risen Reefs, it's probably okay. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. So we might be able to kill him. Okay, so tap, tap. So we'll drop the mirror march. Uh, we're one short of doing another mirror march. Um, we can go like this and then neo form. So, bunch of triggers. Might actually mill ourselves. Might need to be mindful. Okay, so as long as we don't draw all our Omnaths. We're just ramping a bunch. Okay, so our Neo form is here. So we need to sacrifice a Risen Reef here. Let's get Omnath. And we kill our opponent. So basically we would have had three Omnath triggers comboed out and killed them. So that's <laughs> the deck's actually really funny when it goes off like that. Um, I just added in the scamping scorchers, so we do need to be mindful of milling out. Um, Jace might be a consideration if we keep milling out. Uh, but we'll play some more, see how it goes. I'm happy when the deck does what it's intended to do the first shot. Showing scape shift who can make the most bodies. Uh, we'll keep this. I'm gonna lead on the elf. Reason being, it gives them less information. They would probably think we're a ramp deck. Another land would be good. Risen Reef. This deck does benefit a lot from having Risen Reef out on turn two or three. So we'll see if we don't draw into one, how we fare. If this is a mono red deck, we're in a little trouble. So we can Omnath next turn. 
no attacks. Also, not having to shock ourselves further is good. So we're blocking here. Um, if they want to use a firebrand, it's a free block. So here, like if they want to use a shock on Omnath, they can. Would ideally like to get a, a two drop that we can neoform away into a Risen Reef. All right, that works. This is a cool thing too, because you can clone Omnaths. You can get rid of their stuff. And now you got two Omnaths I gotta deal with, and this takes it out of shock range. Uh, so steam vents here. Uh, so we can neoform, but I don't really feel like we have a relevant target. So we'll just wait it off. Uh, that guarantees we hit uh, our next spell, but I think we just pass. We could have gone for the, um, the O3 Leaf Kindred. What I like about this is like you have that crazy combo finish we had game one, but on the flip side, you can also just grind them out for value with like a standard elementals. Yeah. For them to play this, they're pretty desperate. I might also, yeah, they're dead. If not, we would have just got the Trailblazer, the one that gives them plus one, oh, off the Llanowar Elf. And then Omnath, we could have just played after to burn him out. Sweet. Two wins. We'll run one more. Just going to do a quick video today. Got a couple minutes that just want to show off the deck. Um, this hand I don't like. This hand I do. So we're going to get rid of the Scampering Scorcher. So I'm still going to lead with the Stomping Ground on one in the event we draw an untapped blue source for turn two Risen Reef. Uh, it still allows us to play Leafkin on two while playing Temple of Mystery. This matchup's probably pretty tough. Oy. Uh, no more lions at this point. Uh, so the I think we just gotta take it. That's actually a bit awkward. Doesn't allow us to neoform. We mistapped. We should have tapped one of these because then we could have neoformed. Yeah, I'm just gonna. We'll play one more. I'm not gonna win this matchup. Feather really is involving either we have to have an explosive start, but I can't really block them that favorably. It's 
it's fine. We stomped uh, mono red. I'll keep this hand. So they got Knight of Eben. Uh, turn two, I'm probably gonna go, this is Vampires. Uh, this gives him two power that it can block, but I think we're playing defense anyways. And just trying to drop Omnath to kill this. Because I figure they're going to go this pump, get it to three. No blocks. If they don't do that, oh, it goes up anyways. So it's important to get this out of the way. No attacks, we can block the Conquistador. Next turn we have land and risen reefs. Hopefully get some card advantage there. Just block like that. So here, here I think we just go bigger on this. Um, so we can go bigger on this, but we are tapping it, so. Or we can just do this this turn. Because then that blocks Adanto really well. Mm. That gives it three toughness. Just spread out the love. Uh, they can put the pump that gets it to six, so no attacks. I'm going to take the night the damage from night here. Okay, so they refill their hand. Try to grind some advantage here. just concedes. So once we get that going, it's really just a lot for the opponent to overcome. So three and one with the deck. Uh, you get an idea of what we're trying to get at. Uh, let's crack a pack for you, see what we get. Um, it is a fun deck. It's a different take on Elementals. Starfield Mystic. I generally enjoy playing it, so if it's something you want to try out, post the deck list. It but uh, appreciate you guys and gals watching. If you do enjoy the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Have a great night or day, depending on when you're watching, and enjoy.